Let me just start this whole video by saying this was a smashing success. I hope you enjoy. Today on the E30 N54 swap, we're going to be doing walnut blasting on the intake valves on this guy. We got six cylinders, obviously, and we're gonna be walnut blasting all of them. Today I'm gonna to show you how to walnut blast using a special tool, using an air compressor and a vacuum, and we're gonna be doing this quickly, succinctly, so that you guys can learn exactly how to do this, what you need to do it, and most importantly, to get the results that you want and get that engine feel that you require. Stay tuned guys, you don't wanna miss this one. Okay, all six cylinders have now been taped over to prevent any type of uh, mo uh, debris from getting in the engine elsewhere. I've got my 24, uh, 22 millimeter uh, crank set up so I can crank the engine at my leisure and see the valves as I'm cranking to make sure that I am completely closed. If you can see in here, I don't know if you can. Looking at the six cylinders on this now fully covered engine reveals that the cylinders are in pretty bad shape. That's six, that's five, that's four, that's three, that's two, and that's one. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about what it is. It's bad, we all know it's bad. N54s have terrible uh, carbon buildup on the intake, so we're gonna blast them, and let me show you how we're gonna do that here. So essentially, we just confirmed that all six valves are bad. All six cylinders are bad. Now, this tool here is like a PLA or ABS 3D printed tool that you can just get on, a, on eBay for like 20 or 30 bucks. Really, really useful. The reason I have it orange taped up to, the, to this setting here, uh, this new diameter, is because that's what, for, that's what fits with my Craftsman shop vac. So that's the only way that I can get the diameters to match up in short order. So that's how we're gonna end up doing this. Now this tool is pretty unique, um, it's pretty cool. Uh, BMW does offer their own, obviously, for a lot more expensive, but this guy basically goes right into the intake, intake valve, right here, like this, all right? And the hole there is for your, um, your actual blast, your blast media. Now this is the blast media, it's just walnut shells, nothing crazy about it. Um, yeah, you can get like fine or you can get coarse. I believe I got the, I don't even know what I got, I think I got the, uh, the finer version of it, and that's okay. We'll see how that works out. But what we need to do is first, make sure that we have the right tools for the job in terms of the right blast uh, tool. I'll show you the blast tool that we need. And then we need to clock the rear cylinder. We're gonna do this one first and clock it to make sure that it is, the valves are closed or else all the walnut media is gonna get inside the cylinder uh, wall, which is you know really bad for <laughs> to getting in there. So that's what we're gonna do next. Let's take a look at the, uh, the, the tool that I'm gonna be using to actually do the blasting. Now when you're sandblasting this, you want to make sure that you're using the right type of sandblaster. There's many different types of sandblasters, but for the most economical choice, it's either this guy, <coughs> oops, it's either this guy, which is a handheld blaster, it's uh, basically a, uh, like a gravity gun, or you can go with something like this. This is a 40 pound uh, sandblaster. And I'm going to be using uh, fine walnut shells, which is basically what I just sprayed on myself just now. Fine walnut shells. I do not recommend using these, although it's easy um, and maneuverable. You have to fill it up quite often if you can even get it through the siphon. I think that you're gonna have a lot of trouble getting it through here, and I think that you're gonna get a lot better results, quicker results. You'll cut down on your time that you spend actually blasting these intake valves if you were to use something like an actual sandblaster machine. Um, and, and I picked the 40 pound because eh, I just think it's a good middle ground. It was about 140 bucks from Harbor Freight. And I think it's gonna do the job. So let's, get, let's dig right in. Um, we have our tool here, right? It's gonna stick right in to the, uh, the actual intake port and the hole is going to uh, end up going where this thing ends up going right through into the hole, which I can't really show you here, right? Just like that, right? And then you're just gonna rotate it around. So without further ado, I really wanna just do it and, uh, and just make it work and see how this thing uh, functions and performs. So let's just make it, let's just do this. Let's just do it.
air to flow from the tank down and into the blaster, which is right here, okay? This blaster is gonna go right to this hose. The hose comes up and around and right to here, where then you have another valve that allows the, the media to flow when you need it. So what we wanna do is now we wanna open this one. Okay, and then we have this valve here. This is actually completely on. So let's do it like halfway, I guess. Oh no, let's just do the whole thing. Why not, right? And then all you have to do is just start releasing this one like this. And I'm not doing anything yet. So play around with that and let's make it work. So it took me a little bit of a while, but I think that I got the right formula down for using this sand blaster. What I found is that the actual orifice gets clogged quite often. I'm actually using fine walnut shells, but the actual um, uh, coarse ones would probably be even worse. And because it gets clogged down at the bottom of the actual sand blaster, you need to cycle that valve uh, quite consistently in order to unclog it and get the flow going. So that's what I had to do. And the process was that first I had to put the vacuum on, and then when I put the actual sandblaster nozzle into the, um, into the intake valve, moved it back and forth, and all the while I'm cycling the bottom of the sandblaster with my foot on and off to make sure that it doesn't clog. And within the course of three minutes of doing that, I had absolutely gorgeous intake valves. Take a look at that first one. Now, with the proper protective headwear, eyewear, earwear, it's time to do the other five. Okay guys, that just about does it for me today. I hope you learned something here by being able to blast your own intake valves with walnut shells and $140 worth of blasting equipment. You need to have a big compressor in order to make this work, yes. However, it is really worth it and uh, the results just speak for themselves. Near perfection, I, I just couldn't be happier. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. My name is Frank Macaluso from Garage Holic, and I am out of here. Later.